Julian Lennon comes at us with his 7th LP and first record in over a decade, titled Jude. As the title suggests, Julian doesn't shy away from the associations that may lead people to his work. The track Not One Night, having heavy shades of late career John Lennon within the vocals and within its earnest lyrical content. It's one of the real highlights that Julian offers up to us on this LP. It's moments like this where I feel like Julian was severely underrated as an artist. His career peppered with moments like this. I still think he never really got the credit he deserved for the talent he holds. Within this I also see heavy shades of sorts of the post-Brit pop landscape, round and round again, a track sounding like it could come off a solo Liam Gallagher album. Love Don't Let Me Down runs in a similar vein to this. While being a touch formulaic, tracks like Love Never Dies sounds like something off a Richard Ashcroft album with its sweeping strings and choruses that reach ever so high. On the opening track, Save Me, we get Julian almost channeling an inner David Bowie or Tom York. While these comparisons are incredibly flattering, I do find that these cuts fail to show us any vision of what this overall album wants to be, and at times comes off as an imitation. The real thing tying this album together are themes of existentialism and searching. At times these themes feel exhausting as the instrumentation meanders around as we run around the themes of being let down. That being said, Lucky Ones is another one of the standout tracks here, Julian showing a slight bite. Again, it's nothing groundbreaking, but it's a great track with a confident rocking guitar and these murky sounding drums, paired with lyrics about a new revolution and how we need this world to last us forever. Again, it's slight with Formula 8, but Julian makes it his own. It's a great tune. While I found the opening couple of tracks a bit lacklustre, the closing track is a pleasure. Julian bouncing between two other vocalists over these lovely, warm-sounding strings and a soft-spoken piano. Overall, I found this album frustrating at times because you can see what Julian has in him and he really does shine in places and the songs are really enjoyable. And at other times it really does miss for me, perhaps travelling over very familiar ground while offering nothing new, almost sounding redundant in a way. I'd seriously recommend this album to anyone who has a passing interest in Julian's work. There's some real solid cuts here. Overall, I'd give it a 6 out of 10. Thanks for watching.